This is the Earth to World Broadcasting Network. So some of our speakers are going to be looking back a few years, some just three years. I'm going to look back 20 years to give us a perspective of where we are today in the apartment market. So we look back 20 years ago in 1992, Portland had just emerged from a deep recession of the mid-1980s. We were in the midst of a mini recession as a result of the SNL crisis, which saw the formation of the Resolution Trust that oversaw the 747 failed savings and loan institutions across the country. That's roughly 23% of all savings and loans had failed as a result of deregulation in the 1980s, which prompted poor underwriting, undercapitalization, and fraud. Those institutions that survived implemented extremely conservative loan policies and interest rates for multifamily mortgages hovered between 8.5% and 9.5%. Again, just 20 years ago. Confidence in multifamily real estate investments had waned, rents were stagnant, leverage had been minimized, and Portland was definitely not a cool place yet. I thought I would share with you some excerpts from an appraisal that was done exactly 20 years ago of a multifamily property that I bought in Northwest Portland. The property is located just off of Northwest 23rd. These are some of the comments of the appraiser. This appraiser has researched the subject neighborhood for rental comparables similar to the subject property. In reviewing the eight comparables, it is seen that studio units rent for as low as $255 per month for the particularly small units to as high as as much as $395 a month for larger units. The rent per square foot ranges from 63 cents to $1.22. However, most studio units in Northwest Portland rent for between $325 per month to $370, and vacancy is forecasted at about 5%. Now, total expenses are forecast at $1,835 per unit, or 43% of estimated gross income. And lastly, the comparable sales show a range of overall capitalization rates from 8.66% to 9.59%, with an average of 9.16%. This appraiser est is estimating an appro appropriate overall cap rate for this particular property at 9.5%. So while the ride over the last 20 years hasn't been without some bumps in the road here and there, it'd be safe to say that our apartment market has matured with a very strong positive identity today. So that appraiser I'm talking about was Mark Berry. <laughs> Mark has been appraising apartments since 1983, and we're all very well aware of his background and qualifications in the field. Mark is going to speak to the current apartment market values and track them with the values of pre-recession 2008. Mark? Thank you, Steve, and good morning. Today, I would like to talk about one topic and one topic only, and that is what has happened with apartment values in the Portland metro area over the last decade, but with particular emphasis on what's happened since 2008. I'd like to cover apartment values for not only the entire metro area, but also some different market segments. I'd like to talk about what's happened for older apartments in the urban area. I'd like to talk about 1960 to 1980 built apartments. I'd like to talk about newer apartments with value over five million. I'd also like to talk about what's happening in East Multnomah County and in Washington County and Clackamas and Clark County, and then conclude with some thoughts on what's happening for year to date 2012 and where we're going from here. Now, Three and a half years ago, in September 2008, I went out to Eastern Oregon for the week and did the Cycle Oregon bike ride. Now, we were out in the middle of nowhere. 
there was no cell phone service, no internet connection. If there were newspapers out there, I didn't see any. And if you wanted to make a telephone call, you had to go down to the local gas station and stand in line for the payphone. Well, at the end of the bike ride in September, my wife came and picked me up. And she also brought a whole series of the Oregonian newspapers from the previous week. And boy, did I have a lot of catching up to do. Wow, Lehman, Merrill, Washington Mutual, AIG, TARP, and the once in a lifetime financial crisis. Now we all know the trends, what's happened since then with the stock market, with the economy, with GDP, with job growth, with single family homes, and how we personally have been impacted. But what I'd like to talk about is what's happened with apartment values here over the last decade. Now the first thing I look at in terms of looking at apartment values is what's happened with volume. In the mid-1980s, we had an average of about 250 apartment sales per year, but we got into 2008 and it dropped off 70% and there were only 80 sales in 2009. Buyers were too nervous to step up and they wanted to guard their cash. Sellers were reluctant to sell because of all the uncertainty and the discount they'd have to take. And even if you had a buyer and sell to seller together, it was tough to get financing. The problem that anyone had trying to figure out where values were was that there were so few sales. And let's say an appraiser goes out to an area in 2009, you might find three sales, say, in Gresham or Milwaukee or Northwest Portland or wherever you're working. One might have been a foreclosure, the other was a 1031, and the other was a straight sale. So it was tough getting a handle on values. Okay, so what has happened with apartment values here in the Portland area? Well, I look at a lot of different value indicators per unit and cap rate and times gross, but I felt for this presentation the most important indicator was the price per square foot, to pick out the median price per square foot. Apartment values had been on an incredible run from 2003 to 2008, and basically we were up 40% in five years. However, we got into 1993 and apartment values dropped. They were down to, uh, down to about $78 per foot. So the peak of the market was in 2008 at about 93, and the trough of the market was $78 in 2010. So from peak to trough, we were down about 16%. The good news is that even though apartment values declined, it's nothing like the 34% decline in single family homes from peak to trough. However, there's some good news in 2011, and that was that apartment values are up about 8% in comparison with the previous year, but they're down still about 10% from the peak in 2008. Okay, what about the submarkets? Even though apartment values have slipped a little bit, different markets behave differently. So I tried to pick out a lot of different submarkets in the metro area and talk about that. The first is older units in the close in urban zip codes. So I picked those uh, seven close in zip codes in the, on both the west side and the east side, and this market is behaving a little differently. In 2008, it was commonly thought that there were no apartments worth under 100,000 a unit. We got into 2009, we found that clearly wasn't the case. What happened in 2008 was we had a lot of speculation, we had very low cap rates, we had the condo conversion market was roaring, and this really distorted the figures. Apartment values, according to this chart, peaked out in 2008 and then hit a trough in 2009. It shows a 25% decline from the peak to the trough, but I think that's misleading because this year was badly distorted by the condo conversion stuff. So if you throw those out and you look at the urban market, it's actually performed quite well and values are up uh, in comparison with uh, 2000, 2010. Also, this is a typical sale in the urban area down by Portland State at the end of the park box. It sold for 6.3 million in 2006, and it sold again this last year for uh, 6.3 million. Okay, another market I'd like to talk about are the 1960 to 1980 built apartments. Now this was 
the boom time for apartment construction in Portland, and we have never seen as much apartment construction as we saw in the 60s and 70s. However, this market was characterized by uh, properties with limited imagination and design, a lot of T111 siding, single pane windows, not much insulation, and it was a rarity to find amenities such as a second bath or a wash dryer hookup or a fireplace or covered parking. Now this market peaked out in 2008 and 2009, but is now closer to $71 a foot, while the peak was $83 a foot. This market is showing no signs of recovery and is down about 14% from the peak. Okay, the next market I like to cover is deals that are basically sold for five million and over and were built since 1985. And this is a market, you have a lot of out of town buyers and institutional money chasing after this product, mainly because interest rates are so low and this is an alternative. If you look at what's happened with this market, it peaked out uh, in 19, or 2007 and 2008, it took a dip in 2009, but that was mainly because there were so few sales and it's made a strong recovery. This market is, was a little misleading uh, in 2009. It showed such a steep decline, but it's really not representative because there's such a small sample. This market is down about two or three percent from the peak, so it's held up surprisingly well. Um, the next market I'd like to cover is East Multnomah County, and this is basically the area east of 205 and west of the Gresham city limits, includes some of that uh, western part of Gresham. Now, you've had a lot of changing demographics in this area. You've also had uh, the light rail and a lot of subsidized units being built. Now, this market peaked out in 2008, but this area has been hit pretty hard. Basically, if you take all the sales of apartments built from 1950 to 2000, it's 12% below the peak and has been fairly stagnant the last, last three years. So this market is not showing much sign of recovery. Okay, uh, what's, what's happened with Washington County? Uh, again, if you look at Washington County, uh, you can see that apartment values peaked in 2008 at right about $90 a foot, but it hovered around $83 per foot from 2009 to 2011. The overall decline in apartment values in Washington County is about 8% from the peak, but so not as severe as the rest of the urban area, and Washington County has actually held up pretty well. Okay, what about Clark County? and Clackamas County. The problem with these two counties is that there's been very little sales activity. You can pick all the sales out there, and there's so few, it's hard to get some trends. So what I did was combine these two counties. Apartment values peaked out in Clackamas and Clark in 2007 and 2008 at about $80 a foot, and this market uh, is now closer to 68 to $70 a foot, so values are down about 13%. And I'm not seeing much of a recovery in either of these counties. Well, so much for the decade ended in 2011. What's happening right now? Well, first of all, I wanna look at what's happening with volume. And if you look at the sales in the first quarter of 2012, it's a little disappointing. Basically, we, there were 32 closed sales in the first quarter, and this is a comparison with 40 sales the fourth quarter of 2011, and about 40 sales in the third quarter of 2011. So the volume is a little sluggish, and it's down about 25%. Now, if you look at the values so far for 2012, you learn quickly that figures can lie because there are really too few sales to get a handle on value. If you look at the price per square foot, you say, gee, values have gone up quite a bit. They're way up and that they're back to where we were at the peak of the market, but this is really not the case. If you look at the price per unit from the sales, you see that it's actually softened a little bit and is, is also well below the peak. So, in conclusion, Apartment sales transactions are off 45 to 50% from the peak, 
but we're up 90% in terms of transactions in comparing the trough to 2011. Overall, apartment values were up 8% in 2011, but we're still 10 10% below the peak. Certain markets are outperforming the metro area. This includes units in the urban area. It includes Washington County units, and it also includes newer, more expensive units built since 1985 and 5 million and up. But some markets are underperforming the overall market. This includes the 1960 to 1980 built apartments. It includes East County units. It includes Clark County units and Clackamas County units. As far as value trends in 2012, we're getting mixed messages, but there's some, some hint that we're not only stabilizing, but showing si some slight increases based on the sales for year-to-date 2012. Well, that's how I see apartment values, and those are what I see the trends happening in Portland Metro. And I appreciate your attention, and I look forward to the remarks of our next speaker. This is the Earth to World Broadcasting Network.